know, 2000 Buddha fans have got to go there and hopefully, hopefully roars onto a victory, but you know what it is, it's, it's hard to see now. I can't take it at Norwich. I can't stand Norwich. It's that club that just irritates me. Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. And this is it. The first game of the season. For the fifth year on this YouTube channel, I bring you the match preview of Borough versus West Brom and Chalbion. Tomorrow, half hour kickoff at Riverside Stadium. I don't know how many tickets we've actually sold to this point. I have no idea. I am sorry for this annoying cut on my nose. I can't help it, so I'm sorry if that's the only thing you get to start for this video. Apologies there and there. There's the disclaimer. But listen, away from all that sort of stuff, I don't know how many tickets West Brom have sold for tomorrow. I don't know how many to bring it down, so somebody inside the comment section could be so lovely as to tell me how many. I'm going for a good atmosphere. As I say, it's first game of the season. I'm hoping West Brom obviously brings some numbers with them. I know it's about three and a half hours away. £30 a ticket for an adult, probably. Is. But at the end of the day, it's first game of the season. And it's absolutely unbelievable. You know what I mean? It's the thing that we've all been waiting for. Whenever the football's not here, man, our weekends are boring. Our weekdays without football on and what have you is boring. But now it's back. And it's back tomorrow and I'm so excited for it. I cannot wait. And... You know, I feel confident going into it, I'll be honest with you. And I know you're going to say, AJ, say every single time, but I play, I feel confident. But I genuinely do feel confident. It could be a bit of a different season for West Brom. Brought in a few decent signings. One that I've seen, I'm actually pretty jealous of, actually. I wish Borough would have got him all them years ago. Jed Wallace, what a signing that is for West Brom, by the way. What a player he is on his day. He's an absolutely fantastic player. Great on the wing. He's a free kick maestro inside this league. It's a brilliant signing. I do think he will shine at West Brom. You know, I look at this league table and I think already the teams in there are going to stand out this season a shadow of a doubt you know what I mean you have to look at the last three that came down from the Premier League the teams that are already inside this championship as you say you know West Brom are always a threat I mean I, mean, I remember going to watch Butter versus West Brom a few years ago I think it was a Gordon Strachan era but I could be wrong but I'm pretty sure it was a Gordon Strachan era the dick does 5-0 man it's 4-0 at half time or something so you know that was a game that I went into confident just like I am going to be tomorrow and Butter got absolutely hammered West Brom can often uh, you know turn up and you know often uh, surprise you so you always got to be on your ball against him. You always got to watch out for them because, as I say, you know, on the counter attack, they can be strong. And I say, with that Jed Wallace, you don't want to give away a free kick on the edge of the area. You don't really want to let him have any sort of time in the ball because, as I say, you know, you can pick him from 25 yards out and put it straight into your top corner. So, you know, I think it's absolutely vital that, you know, Borough start from the strong foot tomorrow. I know there's been a little bit here and there about Max Tavernier the last couple of days. It isn't great, is it? You know what I mean? On the run up to the start of the season, you're going to lose a key player in Max Tavernier. He hasn't gone to Bournemouth yet, of course. Listen, by the time on this video, he may have gone today, being Friday. He might go in the morning. Who knows? But listen, if he does play tomorrow, it'd be interesting, but I don't know if he will. As I say, a bit of accepted and what have you. They probably will just rest him now until he has to go to um, Bournemouth. Obviously, go there, injury free and what have you. And it is a real, real shame about Matt Stavon. I'm absolutely good with myself. But listen, you know, if he wants to play Premier League football, a fair play to him. That's what I said yesterday. A fair play to him. Fors, who I believe that's how you pronounce his name, from Brentford, obviously signed for us yesterday. I believe he will start on Saturday, hopefully, anyway. Hopefully, alongside Duncan Watmore, who apparently can leave as well. So, our squad and our transfer market is absolutely all over the place at the moment. Tavernier leaves. He gives us 24 million for, of course, the sale of him and Jed Spence. So, hopefully, you know what I mean? After this game on Saturday, hopefully, Burn get back inside the transfer market. Hopefully, we're going to sign some good players and what have you. But I say for Saturday, if we can get Fors and Watmore up front together, you know, on Saturday, you know, if we can go in that with two strikers up front, Really take the game in West Brom early doors, try and get the early goal, and then try and capitalise on that and make it 2-0 early, or even 2-0 by half-time. You're cruising, aren't you? You know what I mean? But as I say, West Brom, they are always can be a threat. They're always a threat. You know what I mean? They've been in this league a fair while. They know about it now. Tomorrow, a 2-0 but a win. And I think what more to get one, Matt Crooks to get the other. That's my score prediction. But a 2, West Brom nil. What is yours? Leave inside the comment section. If you have enjoyed this video, as always, like, comment, share and subscribe. Leave all your thoughts on the preview. Leave all your thoughts on the transfer market, on West Brom and Millsborough, on the comment section. It's been great to do this one again. And I say, first game of the season tomorrow. Match day vlog out tomorrow night. I don't know how drunk I'll be on the match day vlog. I try to not be too drunk though. But considering I'm going to be in the pub at 10 o'clock in the morning. But hey, first game of the season. Let's have it. See you guys there. Up the butter.